Star Trek Enterprises episode Regeneration is one of my favorite in the entire show's run. Despite this show rewriting history in a handful of ways, the show cleverly brings back one of Trek's biggest adversaries and one of the most entertaining hours on the show. In today's Spotlight episode review, I'll go over why I enjoyed this episode so much. The episode kicks off with a group of scientists discovering in the Arctic the remains of a derelict ship, along with cybernetic bodies. The first act of regeneration interestingly focuses on these group of scientists who are studying and attempting to identify anything they can about these mysterious figures. Of course, it is no surprise to us that these are the Borg. While humanity in real life continues to unthaw things we maybe shouldn't necessarily mess with, it is pretty hilarious to see scientists so anxious to unthaw something as terrifying as this. Like, why would you unthaw something that looks like this? Oh, hell no! It isn't long before the scientists are all assimilated and hijack their vessel, turning it quickly into an advanced piece of technology. The Enterprise crew, charged with intercepting the vessel, is immediately put into harm's way. The ship already contains advancements beyond their capabilities. Fortunately, Enterprise is able to fend off the ship and rescue two Tarkalians that have been infected. It isn't long before they awake, infecting Dr. Phlox and infecting the majority of the Enterprise's systems. This later comes back to bite the Enterprise as they're sucked into a trap, with Reed and Archer going aboard the vessel to plant a bomb. Interestingly enough, this scene reminded me of the several times this had happened prior on both TNG and Voyager. Unsurprisingly, the Enterprise wins the day. America, fuck yeah. Archer, conflicted over trying to save the people, realizes they're far too gone with the cybernetics and destroys the ship, but not before it can send out a message. They told their homeworld how to find Earth. Thankfully, the message will take several centuries to reach its intended spot, and therefore is a problem for someone else. How very 2022 of you, Captain Archer. Speaking of 2022, how about spicing up your new year with today's sponsor, Movie Palette. Movie Palette is a unique piece of art for your home. Each palette is built around a movie, with each stripe of color representing the dominant color in each movie's image. What you get is a unique piece of art that is a conversation starter. Using code NADER15, you can get a piece of art for your home that is earth friendly, helps the channel out, and makes your home look nice. Thanks, Movie Palette, for sponsoring this review. We're clear, Captain. Regeneration, written by Mark Sussman and Phyllis Strong, is one of my favorites in the first two seasons of Enterprise, and honestly, in all of Enterprise. Enterprise has always done a great job of keeping the audience on its feet with the unknowns of space. And despite us knowing a great deal about the capabilities of the Borg, watching the Enterprise trying to maneuver such a hostile race is a lot of fun. Enterprise does do a lot of history rewriting here, as we know the first time humans really discovered the Borg was in TNG. They're called the Borg. Protect yourself, Captain, or they'll destroy you. Then again, we should probably start blaming one of my favorite Trek films, First Contact, for that issue. Enterprise just as a sequel of sorts, with mentions of First Contact and Zephram Cochran's speech about them. You mentioned a group of cybernetic creatures from the future. Interestingly enough, Cochran's speech took place during a Princeton ceremony. It wasn't like it was a necessary statement. So I can drunkenly see Cochran just being like, hey kids, uh, future's great. Uh, oh shit, zombie robots will be something to worry about in like, I don't know, 100 years. Uh, you know, sorry about your college debt. The Borg also get off a message to the Delta Quadrant, and even though that really doesn't disrupt things, I guess it is a way of saying the Borg would always become a problem, regardless if Picard experienced them beforehand or not. The episode brings back that suspense I got from seeing the Borg the first time on TNG. Since then, especially with the heavy usage in Voyager, the Borg have become pretty watered down the go-to villain of the Trek universe, and don't have the thrill they once had, in my opinion. Regeneration restores that with a great episode of television. I'm curious what you guys think of this episode. If you want to hear me talk more about Trek, click on this video here, and I'll see you on the next one.